Super Colon Cleanse Supplement Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Super Colon Cleanse. Now, I would not do a review on this except for the fact that I did a review on Zupu and I did a review on Inno Cleanse and both those are very, very successful. So it's like, maybe you guys wanna see colon cleanse reviews. I purposely don't usually talk about them because it's a messy topic, no pun intended, but here we are today. Let's talk about some colon cleanses. This is Super Colon Cleanse. Now this one is extremely affordable. Some of the problems that I had with Zupu and Inno Cleanse is that they're so expensive. I mean, it's like 60 pills for 43 bucks, 45 bucks, maybe up to 46 after tax. It's just way, way too much. And then Zupu is even worse. I think you get 30 pills for like maybe 35 bucks. I don't know. It's just way, way too small. And again, you don't need to take a colon cleanse for a long period of time. It's meant to be short, but you know, Know, for some people who have constant issues like me where I need to take just a little bit all the time to make sure everything's going good I know it's probably my diet and some of the cheap things I'm eating I know and I'm trying not to take any one stimulant or I'm trying not to take any one laxative too much so I don't become dependent on it and you know I don't want to be TMI but I forgot to take them the last day or two and I've actually been okay so Anyway, Super Colon Cleanse, this is my original favorite colon cleanse, but it got reformulated. Mm -hmm, that's right. So this was my absolute go-to pre-formulation. If I was literally going to make a colon cleanse product before InnoCleanse and Zupu, I would have literally copied the old formula of this. I'll see if I can try to find it online, but I used to use this stuff constantly. It was my favorite. This new formulation is okay. It's decent. It's not as effective as the other one, but it really, really does have its place and it can really um, bring down the price of using InnoCleanse and Zupu because they are so, so, so expensive. It's ridiculous. But one time I kind of was like, screw InnoCleanse. I'm just going to try to go without it. I got a week or two into it taking normal stuff and I just had way too many issues. So for me right now, I have to somewhat take InnoCleanse or Zupu, one of the two, somewhat regularly, I would say probably three to four times a week, just one pill. I don't take a lot, just one. If I were to come into a lot of issues, if I were to come across a lot of issues, I maybe would take a little more, but for the most part, I just take one. This product right here, the main thing we got here is the Senna Leaf Powder and the Psyllium Husk. Now those two things, Senna Leaf Powder is a stimulant laxative. It's probably one of the most notorious stimulant laxatives. For me, it's a very fine line between it working and it just being overkill. There was one time where I bought these like Cinna chocolates like six, seven, eight years ago. You know, I was really backed up. I took a bunch of them and my stomach hurt for hours and hours and hours and hours. So it just really makes your stomach turn which can be good if you're constipated because it gets things going, but at the same time, it is a little bit on the rough side. And then the other thing we got here is psyllium husk. And psyllium husk is just essentially fiber. So I definitely would take this with some water just because they say sometimes the psyllium husk can just like absorb all the water in there and there could be a choking hazard, but I don't know if um, it would be on this small of a dose. I just know on other forms of psyllium husk, they say to make sure to drink enough water because it just kind of like, fills up your stomach and that's kind of how its effect works. It makes this really big blob that's supposed to clear out everything in its path, basically like fiber. And then you have these other ones here, just kind of like three kind of helpers, I would say. Fennel seed, that's kind of in Inno Cleanse and Zupu and a lot of other colon cleanses. I'm sure it's useful here, even though it's in a very, very small milligram at 21 milligrams. Papaya leaf powder, now that's probably like the probiotics. There is probiotics in papaya, and I, but again, that's pretty small, 21 milligrams. Rose hips fruit powder, now I gotta, be, I gotta be honest with you, I haven't looked that up. I think these other ingredients are kind of to balance out the main two ingredients in my opinion, but the last thing we got here is, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, but the most famous digestive enzyme that I've ever heard. So the most famous, um, pretty much a digestive enzyme that there is. So it's just kind of gonna give you um, some extra digest digestive enzymes to smooth out the experience. So if you're somebody who has chronic constipation, I use this, you know, pretty much a go-to is one and I'm always pretty much safe. I never have any issues. It's not gonna be rough two you know maybe up to three in a day yeah you could have issues but at the same time if you are really 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 backed up you know there are times where i take two and i don't really have too much of an issue 
But um, this is just perfect to zigzag in between taking InnoCleanse and this. And I do feel like it almost might be more effective just because you're taking something else. When I was taking only the InnoCleanse, I'm going to be honest with you, it did seem to lose a little bit of effectiveness when I was only taking it by the end. It still provided probably more effectiveness than anything else that I've ever tried. But I still think it did lose a little bit of effectiveness at the end. But I think by doing this, you're pretty much going to get all the same effects of the InnoCleanse, maybe if not even a little more, and you just save so, so much money. Now they do have a, um, a cheap version of this if you just wanna try it out. You know, this is kind of overkill. This is uh, 240 caps and it's two caps per serving. So nobody should take a colon cleanse at a hardcore dose for 120 days. I do take it somewhat regularly, but I take it at kind of just this baseline dosage. I try not to take too much. I try to do just, you know, just the right amounts. I also try to throw in some ginger and some other things that are good for my stomach and in there as well. Anyways, guys, this is a very bare bones colon cleanse. It is super cheap. So you get 240 pills for, I think, $20. That's insane. You want to compare that to the InnoCleanse? Like, you almost get, like, 10 to 20 pills for one pill of the other one when... If you zigzag between them, they're gonna be about just as effective. If you were to only take this, it kind of turns my stomach into a little bit of liquid or it just doesn't do everything I want it to do. The InnoCleanse like somehow does everything I want it to do. It, you're getting a lot out and it's really easy with the InnoCleanse, you know what I mean? And I would have more bowel movements with the InnoCleanse versus the other ones. But anyways, guys, this is great as a zigzag and it is so much more affordable. And if you don't have money for the InnoCleanse, Definitely try this one out. Uh, again, just be careful taking too much because it is very simple. It's a Senna dominant product. So just be a little careful with it. But again, I really like it and it's gonna save me tons and tons of money by zigzagging between this and the Inno Cleanse. So anyways, guys, let me know what your favorite colon cleanse is. Have you done a colon cleanse? Have you not done a colon cleanse? I'd be very interested to see. I actually just had, I think, some parasites in my stomach as well. So maybe I needed the colon cleanse a little bit more because of that because having parasites does slow down your stomach as crazy as it is, I've never left the US, but somehow they got in there. So we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.